Hey guys, let's take a look at scientific notation. Today we're going to be estimating without using um, exact numbers, just trying to get an approximate answer. Let's look first, look at this problem, and let's remember how we actually did a problem like this using scientific notation. You don't need to calculate it at all. You can just do the actual work um, by turning everything into a number in scientific notation. So let's start here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4 over. That'll give us 3 times 10 to the negative 10 power. And then 4,000 is 4 times 10 to the third power. This one is 3 over, which means 6 times 10 to the 12th power. And then we have 2 times 10 to the first power. Okay, that's not right. 10 to the seventh power. There we go. Okay. All right, 3 times 4 is 12. That'll be 10 to the negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. 12 here. 6 times 2, in other words, 10 to the what, 19th. 12 divided by 12 is 1. Negative 7 minus 19 is negative 26. And there is your answer. <clears throat> we did that with no calculator at all. We're going to do some calculations with gigantic numbers, which we're going to get a, a basic kind of an estimate of what's, what there's no calculator at all using scientific notation. Now here's an example of typically the one you'll see, which is this. Um, estimate the answer to that. And what, all we'll need to do is just take each one of these numbers and put them in scientific notation, approximately. In other words, we're looking at about 20 here, at about 5,000 for each of these, and about 10 for each of these. So we'll put each of those in scientific notation. So we'll have 2 times 10 to the first for 20, 5 times 10 to the third, you know, and we'll do that three times. Oops, I put one of those on the outside one time. <coughs> then we'll have, you know, you know, 10 to the first, you know, or you could say 1 times 10 to the first, and then 1 times 10 to the first, and then 1 times 10 to the first if you want to do it that way. All right, and first we'll get all the numbers multiplied together. So we have all this here. 2 times 5 is 10, times 5 is 50, times 5 is 250, times 1 times 1 times 1 is still 250, times 10 to the, and we'll just add these together. That's a, a 1, that's going to be 4 total, 7, and 10, and then 1, 2, 3. Okay. So this is what we want, except for this is not in scientific notation because this number is not between 1 and 10. So we just move the decimal over twice. We go 2.5 times 10 to the not 13th, but to the 15th. And that is our approximate answer. Um, there's going to be a lot of, I mean, you know, when you're 10 to the 15th power, if you're a couple of trillion off or whatever, that's still pretty good. But it's, we're going to not be terribly close to the actual answer. But it's a decent estimate, though. That's the method. Okay. Let's look at this one. We're going to estimate the answer to this problem, which looks just mon monstrous or whatever, but we can get reasonably close to this. And again, what we want to do is take each one of those numbers and turn it into, you know, something in scientific notation. So you just want to get everything you just want to make into whatever, uh, in other words, you want every one of these numbers to turn into some number with one integer and then a bunch of zeros. And that's all you want. So this will be 4,000 for this one. That's, that's the closest. In other words, you don't want 3,700. You don't want to have to multiply 3,700 times. You just go, go to 4,000. Okay. This one, we're going to go, we need this number to be close to another number with just one integer and everything else zeros. What do you suppose that's going to be? 500,000. This one, 300,000. This one, ugh, seven. Okay, we're going over here to seven. Okay. So, this is kind of a mess. Let's actually take each part individually and fix it. So, 4,000 will be 4 times 10 to the third. This will be 500,000 times 10 to the 14th. You move it over five times, which means 5 times 10 to the negative 14th plus 5 is negative 9. This will be 300,000, which is going to be 3 times 10 to the 5th power. And this is a 7. We're moving it over 4 times here. 
It'll be 7 times 10 to the negative 5, and minus 4 is negative 9. Okay, right there. All right. Now we have 4 times 5 is 20, and this will be times 10 to the 3 plus negative 9 over 21. Uh, 10 to the 5th, 10 to the negative 9th is going to be 10 to the negative 4th. This you can pretty much kind of treat as 1, approximately. So 1 here times 10 to the, and this goes up here and becomes a positive 4, so we have 1 times 10 to the negative 2 power. And there we go. That's our estimate. All right. That's the method. Okay, let's try another one. And again, you know, if you want to copy this down, just uh, you can pause it, of course. We just want each one of these numbers to have one integer and a bunch of zeros. So this one looks pretty easy, this part. We move it over twice, that turns into a 4. So that'll be 4 times 10 to the... We're moving it over twice, so we need to subtract 2, so that's going to be negative 16th power. This one, I would just call this 40,000. That's going to move over 4 times, which will give us a 4. And that'll be 4 plus 43, it's 47. And then 9764, that'll be just, we call that 10,000, right? 10,000 over 4 times. That'll just be 1 times 10 to the. Okay, then one, two, three, no, excuse me, over three times, my bad, three times. So we'll add the three to the negative 23, which will give us negative 20. Okay, so, you know, four times four, 16. 10 to the negative 16, 47, 31. Over one, you know, I mean, we could call this 16, we could call it 20, we'll just say it's 16, okay. And we're gonna move the negative 20 up, which turns into positive 20. So we can say one, 16 times 10 to the 51st. If you wanted to, you could just put 1.6 times 10 to the 52nd. You could put 2 times 10 to the 52nd. It's close enough. So that's our estimate. All right. Let's take a look at the practice set and uh, do A first, and then go ahead and pause it, and then we'll do A together. Okay, I'm thinking 10... 5,000, 5,000, 10, and 10. And every single one of these, by the way, you notice is reduced down. So in real life, our actual answer would be way less than probably the actual answer. Well, no probably about it. It will be way less because we're going down each time. If you kind of went back and forth and did down one and up one, it'd be a little more close to the actual answer. But anyhow, so this is 1 times 10 to the first power. 5 times 10 to the 3rd power, 5 times 10 to the 3rd power, you know, 1 times 10 to the 1st, 1 times 10 to the 1st. Okay, so we're multiplying all those together, that'll be 25. Okay, the only question is how, 10 to the what power? We got 1, we got plus 3 is 4, 7, 8, 9, and then move that over 1, it'll be 2.5, and then that times 10 to the 10th power. A low ball estimate, but close enough. So, all right, let's look at B. Go ahead and pause it and try this. Turn each one of those into something in scientific notation. Okay, well, the first one, I'm getting 4,000. The second one, I'm going to call it 900,000. And we'll mess with this in just a minute. The last, the bottom is going to be 300,000. And this one I'll just call, I don't know, what is that, 16? Uh, we'll round up. We'll just call it 2. How about that? 1.6. We'll just kind of call it 2. And then 2. All right? So let's rewrite this 4,000. We'll have 4 times 10 to the third power for this one. Now this one will be, you know, that'll be 9. We're going to add 5 to whatever this number is, negative 11. So we'll have 5 plus negative 11, which is negative 6. All right, that's good enough right there. 300,000, that's going to be 3 times 10 to the 5th. There's nothing else to add to that. Uh, we'll call this a 2. We're going to go over twice, which means we subtract 2 from that one. It'll be 10 to the negative 33rd power. All right, so 4 times 9, 36 times 10 to the 3 plus negative 6 is negative 3. And then 6 is here. 
that'll be 10 to the fifth plus negative 33, that'll be negative 28. And 36 divided by 6 is 6. And we can move this up here. It turns into positive 28. So we have 6 times 10 to the 25th power is our approximate answer. Okay? All right. Pause it and go ahead and try to see. Same thing, and we'll come together in one second here. All right, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do two at once here and see if you can catch up with me or do the same thing. This is about 1. All right, so I'll call it 1 times 10 to the something. It's already at negative 12. I'm moving it over twice, which means I need to take 2 off the uh, negative 12 one, so that's negative 14. All right, this I'll call 30,000. So over, <coughs> excuse me, 3 times 10 to the 4th power is what this is, 1, 2, 3, 4. I will add 4 to this one here, which will give me 25. This one I'll call 6,000, which means 6 times 10 to the 3rd power. Just keep that in my head. So it's going to be 3 here. I'm going to take 3 and add that to negative 31, which will give me negative 28. All right. And we can go ahead and do it. So, so 3 on top um, times 10 to the negative 14 plus 25 is 11. Bottom is 6 times 10 to the negative 28. 3 over 6, we'll just call it 0.5. We can go ahead and do that. Times 10 to the, now we're going to move this up. It turns into plus 28. That'll be 39. This goes over because we can't have that you know, less than 1. So we need to have 1 here. And then we'll take away 1 from this one to give us 5 times 10 to the 38th power. Okay. All those estimates won't be exactly right. If you're doing a real class, of course, you want accurate answers. But this is a good, good skill to know. Um, messing with this kind of stuff in biology or you know, if you're dealing with astronomy, distances of stars or planets or speed or light speed or uh, you know, size of uh, bacteria, all that kind of stuff. Chemistry, all those things. Knowing this kind of stuff and just going, I don't, need, I don't need a calculator. I'm going to do it here on paper. Impressive to be able to do, and a lot. It makes, I mean, half of chemistry and biology is math, so this will make you in a lot better shape here. So, okay, thanks, guys.